Hey everybody, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. Uh, this one is another one that's highly anticipated. I feel like I, I guess, say that for damn near every review, but I review what I like, I buy what I like, and I share stuff with you that I generally like. So yeah, I was really looking forward to this. This one is actually from an upcoming video game called Hardcore Mecha from a company called Rocket Punch Games. It's pretty much like Metal Slug, except you can pick a variety of mecha instead their pilots can actually um get out of the robots and they can kind of do their own thing they have like slash moves and stuff like that in fact in a second i'll see if i can't show some gameplay so you guys can actually see what it's like but a lot like the old metal slug games and things like that but more up to date has mecha looks cool as all get out I actually can't wait to play um the game it was announced that it was actually all done with the polishing and everything like that as of a couple of months ago so we'll see hopefully that's released soon but anyway this is thunderbolt this is one of the lead mechs from that game it measures two about six and three quarter inches tall actually right under seven on the dot so if you're a collector of the Ma metal build not master grades i guess master grades as well master grade gundams metal build gundams anything that scales around that seven inch mark i know the master grades are obviously one 100 the metal builds are called non-scale but they're one 100 it's going to fit right in with those i'm not going to do this with a bunch of bandai products and stuff like that because this is a ccs toys thing and i want to focus on it and their products so with that company, you might know them from some of the Metal Saga releases, like that chicken that turns into a robot, the QMAC Aggie. Um, I believe it was under the CCS Toys logo that they did that Parasaurus and Turnigrants. That one, that was really, really good. So, and this is right along with it. So, this is a metal build style toy, so plastic on the outside diecast all throughout the frame so we'll go ahead and take a look at the game itself then we'll get on this product and hopefully you guys like what you see So again, we've measured this to about 7 inches tall. It comes with a stand, pretty plain Jane. Just a pole that sticks into, I wouldn't want necessarily call it flimsy, but it is a more thin plastic base. So not really the metal build styled stands that we're accustomed to these third party metal build toys coming with. But thankfully I actually ordered one of the third party uh, stands by itself, the metal build style one. So, it comes with adapters for that too, so we'll definitely check it out on both of them. Alright. Now looking at his other accessories here. You can see he's got the two swords. These are adapters for both the Metal Build style stand and the Master Grade 1 100 style stands. A variety of hands here. Uh, two of them are for holding the swords, two of them are for holding the or holding the one blaster. These are an attack piece right there, effect parts. Those are boosters for his back, his shield, his blaster, and back over here, that's the adapter piece for the shield to go onto his arm. All right, so this piece does not come fully assembled out of the box. So it's not like a model kit or anything like that. There are just a couple of pieces that you have to put on it. Even official metal builds do that is to prevent breakage basically. So larger parts and stuff like that, they can fall off. They just put it in a separate spot in the box and you pop it on. So this is him nude. There are four of these on each side of the foot. They kind of represent his ankles. Pop them on so that the wording or tampo is on the upside. You'll be able to tell where everything goes or whatever just by doing that. Now he has these two ball joints in the back. That's where those booster parts go. They are symmetrical aesthetically, so it doesn't matter what side you put on what. 
Now I will tell you guys in advance, I don't want to forget, it comes with this piece down. This actually flips up. And there are two peg holes on each side, or one hole that goes all the way through. If I had to guess, I would say that there will be upgrades in the future. In the game, some of the clips that I saw, he has like this huge rocket pack strapped on back and things like that. So I got a feeling that they're definitely not done with this piece. And also, with the head, the antennas need to be pegged in. So blue side in the back, I'm just making this a thing so that you can do it right the first time. They peg in pretty tight. They do rotate on the like. They're supposed to pretty much, when it's heads up, stick straight up. But again, blue in the back, so you know what side antenna goes on what. And also, it does come with these two adapter pieces for the source to peg into as well. So That's we got the like. roundabout and some of the details about the figure all the way. Let's look at the articulation. And I tell you what, if you've owned a metal build toy up until, I think, pretty much EVA 01, then you know all the articulation points on this thing verbatim. They all use pretty much a similar frame, so ball jointed head. One thing I will say is that there is no ball joint for that neck where it meets like that clavicle area and stuff like that, so the ball joint is what you get, but plenty of upward and downward movement, full 360 as you saw, so cool stuff there. All right, so shoulder pads have some movement in there. Do they move freely on their own? Yes, they do. The shoulders themselves, 360. I'll say, nice, good feeling, smooth joints. You saw that 360 right there on the bicep swivel. Double jointed. Elbows right there. Pretty cool stuff. All right. No movement in the forearm or anything like that. Swivel. That's it for the arms. The ab crunch, that's about as far back as it'll go right there, but you can see it goes back and forth pretty well. And this flap here actually moves out of the way. So it's nice because it moves down so it has that cover if you have him lent more back, but then if you put him down, it still stays. So cool stuff. Look at these flaps here, crotch area. These all go up. These do go to the side, but not much. There's not a lot of play in these side ones, unfortunately. And then you've got these two big things in the back that, of course, you have to be mindful of. But let's see. Front swing. Even with all that moved out of the way, it's still only about 90 degrees. Back swing, as you can guess, not too much, but more than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Big old double jointed die cast knees there. Thigh swivel. Can do a 360, it looks like, but I'm not going to take it that far. Looking at the ankle tilt, good amount. I dig it. Nice tight ankle tilt, too. I love it. Alright, front of the foot moves. Does the back at all? No. Alright. So that's the articulation. Let's actually. Instead of just going for a bunch of random poses and stuff like that, he comes with a good number of accessories. So let's start looking at those. Now, I have this hand already attached to the gun. Since it's for the gun, I felt no reason to take it off. It will stay attached to that gun, unless need be. So this actually transform. Look at what I'm doing. So that has a double hinge. goes up in the flap while I'm knocking stuff over. Flatten his feet out. goes back down. All right, so it's got that parallel thing going there. It's got some extensions as well. Boom. And then the front too. Kind of tight there. It's nice. Add some color to it and whatnot. Actually focus on this guy. See how it looks. And just like metal builds, they're just a peg. Tabs in. Holds it very nicely. Now this piece, this is just friction. Goes over like so. All right, 
and then the shield tabs in here all right so traditionally it seems like you want or at least I want this end to be the front but it's actually this end get that tabbed in All right. And in the game, he has an attack to where those prongs actually go forward. So it makes a lot more sense when you see that. Now the swords, they have holes here. Get that out of the way. And they just peg in. And there's a look at him all geared up. All right, here's a more traditional blast in the camera. You see that gun is pretty darn long. Good stuff. And nothing crazy here, standard running pose. Something needs to be said for the balance on this piece. Of course, as that goes down or whatever but I mean that's for me rocking it with the turnstile or whatever so I will take that L for user error now I will say with those hands it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to find a sweet spot or whatever pegging them in but once you get them in they're tight let's run and pose Alright, what I want to do to close this out, uh, I, I guess I know, but I don't know. I want to use those effect attack pieces, but have to really see how to set it up. Took a second to get a spudger, because I know that these pieces come out. I wonder if it's easier without the hand there. Of course. And then this piece has a male and female side and it just... One... Two, I believe that's upside down. And off, making sure it doesn't just remove with natural force. And this is just a generic plastic spudger, so for anybody wondering. And make sure I'm focused. Put that back on. Gonna cut out the whole turnstile thing there because now we're gonna look at the stands too. All right, now to use the stand, it has that peg there, and that pegs in to an area on this thing's rear. Just like it pops that off. There's this piece here. It comes off. And whether you put these on or not, I mean, I don't think you really need to see it, but it pegs in. So, boom. All right. And you can see even there, it's strong enough to hold it. This isn't a crazy heavy figure. Most metal builds aren't. But that's more of a stand to, say you kind of have it on a stand. More of a 
nice display base than uh, stand, action pose, etc., etc. So I'm gonna move this out of the way, and this is just this thing was like 12 bucks, but it's just like the one that comes with Parasaurus and Turnigrants. It is a third-party metal build style stand, but what these do that those don't, they actually have compartments for all of the accessories. These aren't accessories, these are just different adapters and stuff like that that came with this stand. So it's really cool, pre-built and everything like that. But like I said earlier, this piece actually comes with an adapter for it. So, get that piece on. There we go, make sure it's pegged in. And then since he has to sit on it, Make sure it's that way. That's what I'm doing. I'm just unpegging him from this stand. Trying to peg him on to the stand here. But the trick is to make sure that this is locked. Alright, and I had to take that off camera to figure out how to get this thing adjusted. The adapter for this stand, unfortunately, is not the best. Some fingernail polish, not gonna lie, it's probably gonna make it work 100% and make it just stay in really tight, but especially at downward angles, the weight of the figure makes the whole thing wants to slide down and off. But you can see now we've got it in more of a flight pose flying at using those attack pieces and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. Overall, this figure's a win. You either like the design or you don't. I'm pretty biased towards it. I like it quite a bit. I think it's beautiful. It's nice to see more original mech designs, especially when it comes to like real robots and stuff like that. But yeah, this has been another Kumasawa review. Once again, CCS, CCS, CCS Toys is Thunderbolt from the game Hardcore Mecha by Rocket Punch Games. Check this thing out. I'll have a link to buy in the description check the game out I'll have a link to Rocket Punch's channel as well but as for my reviews by all means as normal like share subscribe check out the full written breakdown and gallery on kumasau.com that'll also be linked thank you guys very much for watching see you next time